What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and so now we're showing me the interior for your Hello Neighbor pre-alpha neighbor house. Now I want to point one thing out real quick about the outside. There's fences on the right of the porch, which you're going to see in probably, uh, you would have seen them by now. I forgot to place them in the tutorial. It's at the right side of the front of the porch. There's an oak fence and you have to bring it back by two. I'm sorry I forgot to do that. You'll see, I'll look at it a little bit at the uh, end of this clip. Um, but yeah, here's the inside. Uh, it's pretty good. It looks like pre-alpha. That's about as much as I got to say. Um, this is a long tutorial, and, uh, yeah, it's fun to do them in one part, I guess. <laughs> uh, but, uh, yeah, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and, uh, there's a lot of time left, but I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space name of this, well, you don't need any space. All you need is your pre-alpha from whenever the frick it was built. I don't know, man. For me, it's been like, it's been four years. No, it's been like, I don't know, a little while. Um, you do need some materials. The only ones you need to start off are going to be oak planks. You can get brick block. I'm just going to use cyan concrete even for the parts that could arguably be brick. But whatever, we're going to use cyan concrete because it's easier. Birch doors. Block of iron. Let me confirm that I believe this next one is po Is that even block of iron? Cool, it is. Uh, I believe the other one is polished deep slate as far as floors are concerned. Let me confirm this. Yes, it is polished deep slate. And we'll just throw out smooth quartz slabs because we can. And... Uh... Something else is definitely something else. We'll leave it off with that for now. Um, I'm going to... Now, we're going to do the layout. We're going to start with that. Also, you might want to throw yourself some night vision, although it's actually not too dark. It's probably manageable. But I'm going to do it for, like, 20 minutes, which is 1,200 seconds, I think. 1,201 true, I think, is the core or the thing that I need to do. There you go. Um, I'm going to start with all oak planks. There's a few that we're going to have to destroy, most likely, which I know is a little bit annoying, but it's fine. Um, okay, hold on, let me see where I started. I have a whole note sheet. It's, like, long. Starting from the back right-hand corner of your bill, which is going to be this corner right here, you can kind of see how we're oriented here. You want to, from this back block, this grass block, you want to count forward by six. And going left, you want to place four cyan concrete. Block of iron, because I know it's a block of iron, so I might as well, I guess I'm just going to not do what I said I was going to do. Left with nine cyan concrete. Back with four. Oops. Block of iron, cyan concrete. Come back to that corner here that you went back from, and you want to go left with another... Where did I go? There it is. Four blocks of cyan concrete. This is left, by the way. Frick, I lost it again. There we go. Back six. And then you want to count left from this block by three. Hold on. I need to make sure that's right, because that does not feel right. It's... Okay, it is. It is right. Interesting. And you want to place going forward. Wait, no, that's definitely not right. Hold on, is this... Oh, uh, that's a little awkward. That's fine, though. We'll, we'll worry about that in a second here. From this, you want to place a cyan concrete, then go forward with an oak plank. Um, five cyan concrete. Left with three cyan concrete. Oak door, and then we'll go three cyan concrete. Like so. This corner here, which is kind of like making this room not a square uh, whatever that's not important this corner right here like the brick and everything wants to be broken i guess you can actually go all the way up why not so uh i'm gonna get rid of that red concrete because that's gonna annoy me for all of eternity um 
Now what you want to do is you want to, from this door here, this uh, birch door on the left side of the house, the only birch door that we have that isn't the front door because we don't like the front door, count forward to the third side in concrete, which is this one here, and I guess actually in line with the brick would be more logical. And what you want to do from this is you want to go right with eight cyan concrete. Remember this block right here. I'm actually going to place a block of iron on top of it just so I know that that because I, I have that marked on the note sheet that you have to remember that. I wrote this like a week ago. No, it's been like three days. So we'll figure it out once we get there. I think because you have to go right more. Yeah, you want to then bring this cyan concrete forward by five. Then left by nine. Oak plank, cyan concrete. This corner here, not the one that I told you to remember, the one in front of that. That's this one right here, which I'm going to place another block of iron on. Or no, I'm going to place polished deep set on. The polished deep site placed corner, which you don't want that, by the way. You want to bring this right by two with cyan concrete. Then two with oak planks. And then 11 cyan concrete. Back with seven oak plank, cyan concrete, I think. Is it one? Oh my god, I lost my place. Yes, left with seven, then two oak planks, then five cyan concrete. Watch what I have, so. Uh. This corner right here with the oak plank in front of it is this one. You want to bring this right by three cyan concrete, oak plank, and then six cyan concrete. Like so. Hold on. Okay, you want to come to the... My descriptions are so bad, but they work somehow. This, this, <laughs> I call this the weird corner room with the windows. Um, from this, what you want to do is you want to count to the third block left of this window, which is going to be perfectly in line with the wall, and that's correct. You want to bring this b bottom block here back with the cyan concrete, oak plank, five cyan concrete, which will actually connect nicely to that corner, and then it will go right by five... Oak plank, cyan concrete. Come to the front door area, and you want to, with this here, this corner, you want to take the brick block at the base and bring it back by seven. Like so. Okay, so I kind of did this weird, and I don't know why. I kind of just missed a little section with the notes, which is why I just noticed a random break. Um... It's not really big, because all you have to do is come to the back of the dining room area with the little two-block doorway, and this row of five sign concrete. You just want to bring it left an additional one, and then bring it four by three. And then you don't actually need that corner remembered. I'm not sure why I put that like that. I just did. Um, but yeah, we're going to ignore that for now. You want to come back to the front left um, at the garage, and you want to come to this window here, and you want to count to the third, or the second sign concrete left. That's this one. You want to bring this back with two cyan concrete, polished deep slate, um, two cyan concrete, left one, left with a polished deep slate, then left with three cyan concrete, and then a polished deep slate. Middle of that row of three, you want to bring back with two cyan concrete, like so. That's your layout. Now, let's fill in a lot of floors, and also let's do one thing with the garage over here. Get out polished blackstone buttons, just because I said so. And uh, the top row of the garage, which is the block of quartz thing, which is kind of weird looking right now. You want to just place polished blackstone buttons. Above the top row of block of quartz, place a row of cyan concrete. That'll be needed later. It's not really important now. I just wanted to add it. Um, and then what you want to do is that garage room while you're over here. Just fill in the floor with polished deep slate. 
just to get it out of the way. Uh, actually, I'm not going to say the thing yet, because... Yeah. Um, now, for filling in the floors, the back right two rooms, these two with the kind of iron doorways, you want to fill these two rooms' floors in with block of iron. Every other floor wants to be oak planks. Uh, yeah, let's just do that. Hold on, I need to do something important. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night. I am, for the most part... Uh, it's... What day of the week it is? I think it's Tuesday. I don't really know anymore. Yeah, it's Tuesday. And you're seeing this, just for reference, Friday? Yes, Friday. And, uh, probably when you're seeing this, we will just finish wrapping up a build battle, which is pretty exciting. Uh, hopefully that will be out... I don't know, man. I can't even tell you anymore. It'll come out when it comes out. I think that's where we, uh, where we leave that. But, um, yeah... Hopefully this tutorial is, uh, pretty good. I'm gonna be- no, okay. After seeing the mass amount of people that watched the new pre-alpha, I'm changing up the system for the membership thing. I'm gonna just abandon it for the most part for the tutorials. Other than first render, that's staying there and it's never coming back. Earlier prototype, I'm probably just not doing an interior for now. Unless I end up getting a member within a short amount of time, then I'll be like, okay, that's fair. But, for now I got no reason to. But, um... Which might be a little bit upsetting, but it's fine. Uh, I mean, if I guess if you want the membership, then, you know, smash that join button. Uh, but, yeah, all the, like, main alphas and stuff are going to be public now. Except for Alpha 4, I don't think I'm doing Alpha 4 at all. I will lose my mind if I have to make three Act 3 type tutorials. Because of Alpha 3. Which, Alpha 3 isn't bad. Alpha 3, I think, will be a little bit more interesting. But it's still the same. Like, they're all just the same thing. So, yeah, I'm going to definitely lose my mind, especially if I have to do two back to back like that, like, nah, but it will be in Revived, it will be publicly accessible in Revived, that is, we download the map, and I'll probably show it at some point. I'm trying to be less obscure with these things. I was going to try to be obscure and go all crazy with the membership thing, but that absolutely flopped harder than a fish out of water, um, because those flop pretty hard. But, uh, yeah, so I'm just, you know, it is what it is at this point. But, uh, yeah. I don't have much else to say. It kind of looks cool, actually, just having the layout. There's also a staircase, but we're going to pretend that doesn't exist for a little while here. Why? Because I don't want to make it. It's as simple as it gets. There we go. Now, the next fairly simple step. You want to bring every single cyan concrete up by four. Uh, who dare? Okay. Now, above the doorways where there's like polished deep site, oak planks, block of iron, you get the gist. The top two rows of cyan concrete want to come across that. On every doorway. If it's two blocks or less, you're doing this. Other than that, you're not doing much. Also, who needs three doors to a garage? Like, if we're asking the real questions here. I've never been to a house that has more than two doors, usually. Well, I guess if you're going to include the garage door as well, but then that would make this number four, so that kind of is contradictory anyway. But, like, you know, maybe you'll have an outside door. Okay, that's fair enough. Maybe you'll have an inside door. Okay, fair enough. But then who freaking needs, like, three on the inside of their house? Like, what, are two of them going to just, like, magically get boarded up? Uh, I know I'm thinking way too hard about this, but also, like, why? Is Alpha 1 the same? Alpha 1, I think, is 2. I don't know. I don't know that house that well, to be honest. I know Act 3, I think, the best. Act 3 and Act 1 are the ones that I know really well. And also, I guess, Alpha 2, because Alpha 2 is basically just Act 1. Also, Act 2. I know the smaller ones better, and then Act 3, I've just built, like... A lot. I, I had to build it twice. Which, by the way, that will also be a public tutorial. Get hyped for that. Although that one will be a long time away, probably. 
when I say a long time, I'm not, I'm not like, oh yeah, it'll be in like 20, 30, 30. like it'll probably be, maybe like June, I think June is a good estimate, although it's probably, no, it'll probably be sooner, sooner than that, it might be like, it might be May or April, May, probably May, May or June, it'll at least start getting pumped out, now that one might be a little bit weird, I'm gonna probably split the outside into two or three parts, and then the inside into a lot of parts, um, I just find it honestly better to make them, like, if I can cram it into one video with the Hell and Air stuff, I might as well. Just because, you know. Although, for something like Actory, there's no way. Like, that thing took me so long to make, but I also made that in a different way, so. There's that. I'm gonna say this right now as well, with this. If you want to put the doors in the doorways, you can. I'm gonna do that as we go. Kind of stupid, I know, but I don't know the directions of every door, and the way I'm going to be doing this, it'll make some more sense to do it that way. Uh, there you go, there's your walls. If you want to get this out of the way, which I'm going to, uh, fill in your ceiling in line with that, uh, top, r let me confirm this. Wait, actually, I can confirm this in a different way. Yes. In line with the sign concrete above the window, so the fourth row up, you want to just, uh, fill in the roof with upside down smooth quartz slabs. There's going to be a few holes we'll have to punch in this and stuff to get rooms to work. And I also think, hold on, let me check another thing with that back room, the upside down room. Yes, the upside down room, you don't want to do this in. You want to leave the upside down room blank for now. Which I actually think I was starting to scam you for, the, for that. Yes, that was where I ironically was going to start. But you don't want to put them in the upside down room. Sorry, I didn't actually know that. And I was like, wait, I feel like that's different because I feel like I didn't use slabs for the ceiling. And I was right, I used blocks. Still smooth core, it's just blocks. But the slabs give you more space in the same amount of area. So there's that much going for you, I suppose. I don't really know. Uh, anything else interesting to talk about? Nope, nothing at all. Fairly boring tutorial, honestly. I mean, it depends what your definition of boring is. I do love watching these things come up, although the insides are kind of my obligation to do, not really something that I'm like, yeah, sure, let's go for it. If you do the outside, you gotta do the, well, I can't say that, but I also did get absolutely bullied for not doing the actory interior uh, as a tutorial. When I say bullied, I mean I, everybody just kept asking, and I was like, yeah, I'm not doing this. And it's funny, too, because, like, and I don't mean this against anybody, but the fact that Revived comes out and people are still like, oh my god, did you finish the actory, the old actory? I was like, <laughs> it's like, man, I don't know, look at the map. Uh, <laughs> again, no offense, I just find it funny. Again, don't forget to not fill in that one roof, though. This or The ceiling, this one. Ceilings and roofs are different. Says who? Says me. I know, it's crazy. And then we'll probably... Yeah, we'll throw up lantern. Nah, maybe, yeah, we will throw up lanterns as we go. I'm going to have to trap, I'm gonna trap myself above um, a, a true sacrifice just so I can... Yeah. Just so I can, yeah. Also, we don't care about the direction of the doors because I, may, I make the handles go the right way. Why? Because I have... Oh, I'm just OCD. I'm just very OCD with that. I don't know. I wasn't originally. Like, I think my old Act 1 had the handle facing right. No, I feel like my outside doors did have them the right way. But when I go to the inside, it's like, eh, whatever. But the more you build, the more you, like, pick up on those really tiny details and make them right. <laughs> After building, like, a lot. You know, I've built a few things in my time. I just slowly start to kind of, like, you know, look at those things. And also certain things where I'm like, okay, which way would this be more logical? Would it be better to have it more accurate or more looking good? I've had to sacrifice that in both ways. Which I may or may not talk about in certain tutorials. Because there's one that I made a little bit of a minor mistake. It's not really a mistake. It's just the way it worked. Alright, well, I didn't even do the thing I said I was going to do. Hold on, let me, let, me, let me refill this in. Frick! Do it right. Okay, there we go. So you should have this. And you'll notice that one room is empty and sad, which is, you know... It's its own. It's its own guy. You can you can chill back there, just fine. Um, now we're gonna do the inside, and I would come to the front to start. I gotta take another cut to do something like really quick with this though. 
So, to start off in the front, you want to clear inventory and get out. Dark oak carpets. Or, sorry, dark oak fence. Dark oak carpets. What even, what even am I saying? Dark oak fence. Cyan carpets. Yeah, I just combined them. It's fine. Flower pots. Red tulips. How much else can we grab? Uh, I'll say mangrove doors. I almost said stairs. We don't even need mangrove stairs. Mangrove slabs. Well, we will eventually, but... That's eventually. And we'll stop there for now. I'm gonna also redo the night vision thing. There we go. In the front, uh, whatever corner this is, the front left-hand corner, kind of next to the window, you want to place three dark oak fence moving up, just because you can. Also, you should get out birch doors. And maybe cyan concrete, just so you have it, because you're gonna need to break some blocks if you're in bedrock for this part. From the corner of the garage at the, uh, right side and the back side, you want to place flower pots with red tulips in them. Coming out from the door perfectly, you want to place, or you want to leave a one block out and place sign carpet that go all the way to the, um, dining room door, and except it wants to also be one block away from that. So it's eight total. I had to count that, that's sad. Anyway. From the garage door on the kind of right back side, you want to trace this straight back, and you want to place a mangrove door on the second block from the back. You want to place one r right of it, and you want to make sure that they're actually facing towards each other like that. And then place a mangrove door, kind of either side of it that goes back a block, and then, okay, I'm stuck in here. And then place mangrove slabs on top. So these stores should stick out on each side by one from those slabs. Like so. And then that is the correct placement. I'm going to just, like, punch out, like, nine doors real quick. All the doors in this area I'm going to do just because I can. Um... The two garage doors here at the back of the garage face towards each other. So this one here is facing with the handle towards this one, and this one that way. I don't really know how to properly say that. Um, if you look at this door, the little closet here at the back, kind of back left of this hallway, you want to place a, the handle wants to face right. On the, hold on, on the kind of right side of the garage, the handle will, or the left, right side of the garage, yeah, handle will face forward. Whoops. And then over in the living room, this door right here will have the handle also facing forward. Like so. You can, I guess, get rid of your birch doors and cyan concrete now just because you don't really need them. And then also just for fun, well, not for fun, from the left door, you want to count to the fifth smooth course block, slab on the ceiling. Sorry, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, break the fifth one. There will be a lantern in here. I'm going to do all those at the end, though, because I can and you can't stop me. Let's work on the garage next. The garage is very simple. Um, nope, okay. The second, no, third row from the back, you want to, at the right and the left, count in a block and break a uh, smooth quartz slab in the ceiling. That will also be where lanterns are. Uh, you can get out, actually, I think you can just get roll with what you have, and then really, you because you literally only need levers and beehives, or a lever and beehives. Between the doors, the center block, you want to place a lever. That's the little garage door. You could find a way to make that functional. How that would work is beyond me, but there, I'm sure there's ways to at least one redstone genius. At the right wall, one block away from the garage door, you want to place two beehives moving up, and then behind that, place one at the bottom. So it gives you a little right angle, because we love right angles here. Not really. We're going to pretend we love right angles. Now, the storage closet in the back left, which is the store, we're still in that same hallway as the garage, it's this room. You want to just get out a stone pressure plate, because that's the only other thing you need. And from the, I guess, front left hand, front right hand corner, sorry, you want to count technically across the front by two, and then back one and break this smooth gorge slab. You can see where that is. At this right side, you want to... Place beehives in the back three blocks, which is these three. I'm not going to worry about directions. If you want to go crazy with that, then sure. Front block, bring up by one. Entire bottom row, bring left one. And also then bring the middle of that second row up one. And also actually bring that middle one left one. And then if you leave a one block out moving forward from that sticky audio one, you can go right one. Or I guess you can place one there like that. That was a really bad explanation. I'm sorry. 
but that's what it should give you. I'm gonna get really struggly with directions or with yes directions, not the directions you'd think though, the like left right type of directions. From the kind of more backwards beehive that's on the left, that's this one right here. You want to place three dark oak fences. Uh, go kind of four diagonally to the left with a stone pressure plate. That will be there. So four diagonally to the left from the front perspective. And then if you want to count back two and left two, you can place a beehive. And then count left two and forward one and place another beehive. Like that. There's that room. Pretty simple. Not much happening. Now, you want to come into the living room, which is this room with the kind of the actory looking bit. That's what I'm calling it, and you can't stop me. Um, now I guess, yeah, clear your inventory just for fun and get out. Cyan concrete. We're going to start with the stairs because the stairs are lame. Oak stairs. Birch doors. Whoopsies, I do not need oak doors. Spruce trap doors. Oak signs, birch signs, glowing sacks, and lime dye. We'll start with that. Do we want to get one more material? You can get out smooth quartz blocks if you want. Just so we have it. So what you want to do is you want to come back to the... Um, I've clickbaited you a little bit. You want to come back to the dining room entrance, the 2x2. Two two, and you want to count to the 5th sign concrete right of it. That's this one. Bring it forward with an oak stair facing left and then bring that forward with an oak stair facing back bring right of that front oak stair uh four cyan concrete birch door with the handle facing that's not gonna work yep the handle facing left and then another cyan concrete so okay i'm gonna tell you this in the best way possible directly above that first oak stair row you want to look straight up and break to the two smooth quartz slabs that are in line Break left a row, and then break all the way right to the wall. And then the staircase will kind of just be a normal staircase. I don't really know what you'd expect it to do. And then it will stop once it hits the height of the smooth quartz slabs. And make sure you bring the cyan concrete as well with it. And then what I actually ended up doing was I ended up... Whoopsies. I ended up just filling in the end here with cyan concrete. Like that. Not that that matters very much, but you know. With your cyan concrete, you want to, on top of the back right stair, that's this one, place a cyan concrete, and also go left one, and I guess down diagonally to the left one with another cyan concrete. And then if you want to go even further, you can go down diagonally to the left again from that with a smooth quartz block, and then bring that smooth quartz block forward by one. I actually accidentally placed that there. It's kind of funny. Uh, time for a revolving door of materials. Get rid of your cyan concrete, get out mangrove planks. On top of that back smooth quartz block, plays a mangrove plank, and bring it left one. That's how I blocked off the stairs. There will be polished blackstone buttons on this side of that. If you actually, I think you can get rid of your mangrove now as well. Yeah, if you want to get rid of your mangrove and get out polished blackstone buttons and place them on the smooth quartz like that. Pretty simple, and you cannot climb up this. Unless you have jump boost, then you can. And you can also bury, the, bury this off. I'm going to talk about this also. What I ended up doing was I ended up basically just placing... I want to say it's birch. Let me confirm this. Yes. I placed... At, I'll actually show the line, too, where I placed it. I placed it in line right here. So it's directly above the second window, kind of at the front section. It's this one right here. I placed just a row of birch planks and covered up the entire ceiling with that. I'm not going to do this on this video. Because when you look up, you can kind of see that ishy color of birch. Or at least to, in my eyes. Although my eyes aren't necessarily correct. So. Okay. Um, let's come back down and work or focus on that birch door. On the top half of that birch door, place an oak sign with nothing on it. Above that... Above the door, place a birch sign, go down a line, and write EXIT, preferably in all caps. Like that. Left click once with a glowing sack, and once with lime dye, and that gives you the green glowing EXIT sign. You're gonna get used to this. This is gonna, you know, exist a lot. Left of the oak sign, you wanna place a spruce trap door, and you wanna open it up against the wall. And I did mean the oak sign, not the birch. Just to clarify. It's left of the top of the door. That's the little, uh... 
number pad thing where you go like that <laughs> with the numbers hopefully unless you're screwing up then you're probably not doing that you could hypothetically clear inventory no i'm not gonna tell you to actually yes i will tell you to get out smooth quartz blocks you're gonna need a lot of those materials again by the way uh polished blackstone buttons the smooth quartz didn't even grab Like right concrete. Spruce trap doors. Where's my phone? Okay, there it is. I just had to make sure it was actually over here in case somebody was, like, calling me or something and I needed to answer. Beehives. You're going to need these a lot. Just warning you right now. Green carpet. Light gray carpet. If it'll grab. Oh, no, it did grab. It just looks invisible because I can't see. Apparently, I'm blind. Um... Spruce stairs, this actually I think is going to be the perfect amount. Warp stairs and smooth sandstone. Oh, you don't have enough space. God dang it, again, I saw that invisible, but you also need smooth sandstone stairs, which we'll get in a second here. At the left wall, which is this wall, you also need a painting, actually. One singular painting, that's weird. Um, but you want to counter the second sign concrete forward along this wall and place the spruce plank. Is this right? Okay, this is right, cool. Or spruce stair, facing right, not a plank. Get rid of that spruce stair and get out a painting. Um, you want to count up two and forward one and place a one block painting on that block. Forgot that I was full on inventory space and couldn't block pick that. I have it as the, like, weird clown looking one. It looks like a clown and you can't convince me otherwise. I'm gonna make it that because I can't. There's not many paintings in this. There's only a few. Oh, okay, I just got it. There it is. I think it's actually a bowl of, like, salmon or something. I don't know. It looks like a salmon, but it also looks like a clown. Get rid of your painting and get out smooth sandstone stairs. And what you want to do from that spruce stairs, you want to count forward two, let's say warp stair facing forward, then two smooth sandstone stairs in front of that facing right, and then in front of that warp stair facing back. I almost thought my spacing was wrong, but it's not. Leave a one block gap in place, two beehives moving forward, and then bring that Furthest forward one, up one, and also right one. So it gives you that. Again, I'm not worrying about direction. If you want to be fancy with that and not have the little dashes or the notches showing, I would recommend that, although it's not worth my time. Or if you just want to use oak planks, that's also perfectly applicable. Um, Just because we need to, while well, I'm not forgetting. Uh, the staircase from... I guess the second sign concrete in from the bottom. Second sign concrete to the right. That's this one. Plays a beehive. My explanation is down the window. My explanation skills are out the window today. Uh, come back to that little sa st stair couch. And the back three blocks of it, you want to bring each one right with a green carpet. Bring each green carpet right with three light gray carpet. And then surround the light gray carpet and green carpet. Making sure you leave out the corner so you have more of a circle than a square. Except also not a circle either. It's really not a circle. Yeah. Get rid of really any of the last five blocks in your inventory. Yeah, that's a reasonable count. And I'm going to just pick the warp stairs because I don't like warp stairs. And get out red banners just for a sec because I don't want to forget this. At the window here at the front, you want to place at the left and right of it red banners. Just kind of at the inside of it. Now, I'm going to actually show you something really annoying with this in Bedrock. This probably does not have the same issue in Java because they're by it. I think that's fine. Um... But you can see, like, it, you can't, you see the banner through the lines, and it kind of ruins the effect a little bit. So if you don't want them, then so be it. But they are there, so they do have curtains. Which, that's going to be become a huge problem with the museum in Hello Neighbor 2 whenever we get to that. Anyway, uh, the f most, most furthest two forward green carpets at the right side, that's these two. You can see I'm kind of just bouncing between them. Up against the wall in line with those, place two smooth quartz blocks with polished blackstone buttons on the left face. On top of the back smooth quartz block, place a light gray concrete, and then at the, technically speaking, the front, back, and um, other side, you want to place spruce strap doors. Front, back, and top. Those three, like that. So you can, if you're sitting on the couch, you can actually watch the TV and you're not staring at a trap door. Imagine, like, buying a TV, right, and then just having the thing face the wrong way. That'd be pretty funny. Anyway, in line with the middle of the 3x3, uh, three three, or the, the, in, the, in the middle of the light gray, or the carpet, look up and just break that smooth quartz slab. It should be directly in the middle. Like, as middle as it gets. Let's keep working around, I suppose. Don't clear inventory yet, by the way. 
Because in this room, you need a few of those materials again. Which, you're, we're just going right a room, by the way. And what you want to do is, in the front right-hand corner, you want to count back one and place a smooth quartz block, and then go four diagonally to the left by one. On the, it could either be the left face or not the left face, but I picked the left face, I placed polished blackstone buttons. On top of the back smooth quartz block, I placed a light gray concrete with spruce trap doors on the front and back faces. Not the top this time, and you'll see why in a second here. Um, from the smooth quartz block here, the backer one go <laughs> for backward diagonally to the left of the green carpet. Bring it left, or sorry, back one, my god. And then bring each of those green carpets left with two light gray carpets around the light gray and green. While I'm thinking about it, along the top here in the center at the second row from the back, so that's this one right here, or I guess the second row forward, you want to break the middle smooth quartz slab. There should be three available on the left and the right, and one available at the back, and then four at the front. I think it's an accurate light placement. I don't know. Last time I checked, it was, which I don't think they're updating it. Anyway, you can, I think, now clear inventory. That's a, whoa, that's a save assumption, yes. And get out, Acacia Stairs. That's a weird one, but whatever. Light gray banners. God, I thought I didn't grab again. The light gray looks exactly like the inventory. Mangrove doors. Mangrove slabs. Birch doors. And that appears to be it, yes. Also, I get outside and conquer because this door right here, the uh, handle will be facing back, like that. In front of that door, you want to place a mangrove door that's perfectly touched, like in line with it, kind of like that. I know that's slightly questionable, but don't question it. And then, kind of surrounding that, you want to place more mangrove doors, like, so I'm stuck again. So it'll give you this. And then if you place a mangrove slab on top, these doors will stick out from the slab on every side, except for obviously the back, because it literally can't. But yeah, so you can still access this room this way. This room is physically inaccessible unless you broke through the window. Which I definitely would. I like breaking two windows. Don't take that out of context, please. Anyway. Um, as close as you can to that uh, closet on the left side of it, you want to place an acacia stair. That will be there. It will be in line with the left more green carpet there. Then go four diagonally to the left with another acacia stair. And then count left two and forward one and place another acacia stair. They're all facing forward. Man, I love lukewarm water. Anyway, on both of your windows in this room at the left and right, or the front and back, or whatever you want to place, like gray banners. Again, same deal. They're there, but if you don't like it for obvious reasons, that is complete, complete, yeah, completely understandable. Sorry, I was struggling to do something. I'm cheating. That's that's all I'm saying. Anyway, coming to the next room, which I'm gonna just casually go through the closet. And the back door, the handle will face left as well. I'm going to place those places from the outside of the room, like whoopsies, like that. Although it's left from the, it's right from the inside. Sorry, it's left from the outside. And then the other door, same deal. The uh, right one that actually faces forward, and I'm gonna again go on the outside. Is there literally anything else we have that's useful? No, but we can break for the lantern. Um. From the back door, you want to count right to this row of sign concrete, and then look up at the ceiling and count to the fourth smooth quartz slab forward. That's this one, and then break for the lantern. I think it's actually is it perfectly centered. It's almost perfectly centered. If it was one more to the right, it'd be perfectly centered. But it isn't, so. Let's see, how much do I need for this? We literally have nothing we can use. Why? Uh, get out, you clear inventory and get out red banners, by the way, we're gonna need a lot of these materials multiple times, so if you're, like, in survival or whatever, just get, like, 30 of everything. Uh, smooth quartz blocks, polished blackstone buttons, lanterns, light gray beds, I'm gonna be able to see these in my hotbar, I don't really need torches, thanks though, Minecraft. Yes, I can see that, that's good. Beehives. 
Sprue stairs and green and light gray carpets. Told you you need these things a lot. We already have used like all these materials except for oh we actually do need lanterns in this room. I didn't even like think about that until after I just like noticed. That was not very descriptive. Um, at the window again, front and back blocks, red banner. Pretty simple. Not every room has this, but most do. In the center two blocks of the window, you can place a 2x2 two two light gray bed, so make sure that the pillows are obviously on the side of the window. You don't really want to be climbing into bed facing with your feet facing the window. That just doesn't seem very logical. Well, I won't judge. Especially with this. With this setup, it'd be a little weird. But if it's, like, in a corner, like, if you had your bed like that, that's strange, but not the strangest thing you've done. Not the strangest thing I've seen. Although I feel like more logic would have it like that. But I'm not societarily smart. Is that even a word? I'm making up words again, boys. Um, <coughs> <coughs> From the back right-hand corner, you want to count forward by one, place a smooth quartz block. Go forward diagonally to left one, place a smooth quartz block. Sorry, back diagonally to left one. My bad. Uh, polished black stones on the front sides of either of those. The more front smooth quartz block, lantern on top. We're also not placing the lantern in the ceiling. Unless you want to, you have smooth quartz. But I'm going to do that at the end, because I'm a rebel. In the front right-hand corner, you want to place two beehives moving left. The corner one wants to be brought up by one as well. Again, like that. At the foot of the bed, you want to place a uh, green carpet just left like that of each bed. I don't know how to describe that better than that. There you go. Then place two light gray carpets left of the green, of the green carpet and then surround the light gray and green again, except for the corners. You know the drill. Sometimes it's two, sometimes it's three. I think it'll be mostly mostly B2, although we did have three in that one room because we had the space for it, I believe is what the choice was. I don't know, but I made this too long ago. It hasn't even been that long. Um, the two backmost green carpets, that's these two. The right one bring back with a spruce stair that faces towards it. Look back at the front wall because we apparently just like the front wall. Let me actually make sure I'm oriented. Okay, that's a door. Cool. Um, leave a one block app moving right from my perspective from the door left if you're looking from the front, but you shouldn't be looking from the front because you want to play spruce stair, one block app, spruce stair. Is that all we can do? I think so. Clear your inventory and get out dark oak fence, mangrove doors, mangrove slabs, and we'll get out mangrove stairs, paintings. Hear me out with this one. I forget what it's called. Warped Nylium? Warped Hyphae. Is the other one even called Nylium? Oh, it's Stem. I don't know where I got Nylium from. Warped Stem or Warped Hyphae does not matter. Um, we'll leave it at there? Yeah, we'll leave it at there. Um, right of the birch door at the back of the room, you want to place moving up three dark oak vents. Like so. Come to the front left-hand corner and you want to place, not on the corner block, but out on each side from the corner block, a mangrove door that will kind of enclose this corner. And if you're inside that corner, you'll be stuck forever. And this is your new home. Congrats. You now live in a closet. Um, place a mangrove slab on above the closet doors like so. The closet di design will change whenever it feels like changing. The corner ones will be like that. The other ones will be the twos, generally. Sometimes it'll change around because of spacing. Maybe actually only the one is the two. That literally made no sense. <laughs> okay, you get the point. Anyway, I'm trapped in this room, so give me, like... Hold on, let me just break through the wall, because I'm that cool, and I break through walls in my free time. Um, come through the back door. And you want to place... Um, on that door, at the bottom block, an upside-down mangrove stair on top of it, normal mangrove stair. That's that little table. If you want to, like, surround it in trap doors or something, feel free. Knock yourself out. Don't actually knock yourself out. That's not safe. But, you know, I can't tell you to do that because I'll get sued. I don't even know if I can get sued. I don't want to find out. Anyway, don't try it. Um, get out cyan carpet because we need it. And behind that, you want to place two cyan carpet. Whoops, hold on. Bring it right four, which is towards the end of the hall, and then left by three, which is towards the other end of the hall, a.k.a. the more open side. I just had to say the other end because it'd be funny. 
get out Bert's doors, and we're gonna probably slap out down like most of the rest of the doors. Um, this bathroom door here, the one with the iron block below, is just a normal right facing door, bro. You nerd. Um, we're actually not gonna wipe out the rest of these for now because I don't feel like it. You want to be looking at the mangrove stairs now that covered that door that we just covered a minute ago. And you want to count right from my perspective, so technically left, but right if you're looking towards the right thing, to the third side of concrete, and then count up and break this row of smooth quartz slabs. Replace it with warped hyphae that goes across like that. I don't know why this is here, it just kind of is. Like, <laughs> it's kind of just there. Um, yeah. Um... Come back down to that uh, cyan concrete here. The it's I guess two down from it, and then count right one and place a one painting, which is going to be I did it the yellow skyed background one, that one right there. And then I went again right two from my perspective and up one and place another one, which is going to be the giraffe. Um, gonna use the same explanations for paintings from now on, I guess. You know, it's just how we are. Before we keep moving that way, though. You want to look back at the sad end of the hallway, which is the short end, and you want to count to the- I don't know why it's sad. Come to the fourth smooth court slab, count forward one, this is if you're at the- along the back of the wall, and then break, uh, for a lantern. There will be a lantern there. We're not placing it yet, though, because we don't like lanterns. Lanterns scare me. I don't know why, they just do. Um... So you kind of have a little, like, weird mini hallway that sticks through. You have this one here. Right of it by a block, you want to also break into the ceiling, the second slab forward, there. If that was a really bad explanation, you can look for yourself. And then, same row in line with this door here, that second one forward. And then this door is also a right-handled one. I think I just have paintings to do over here. Well, no. Coming to the little end here where you have a, like, a, almost a square. And in the front right-hand corner of it, you want to place three dark oak fence moving up. This is normal orientation, by the way. I figured I'd just mention that. I did that so dumb. Uh, get out spruce stairs. Place a spruce stair, uh, just blocking off that door, because it's there. Get on an acacia stair, or get rid of that spruce stair and get out an acacia stair. Um... Not the back left corner, but right a block, you want to place an upside on acacia stair facing into the wall. This is going to be the most uncomfortable thing you've ever placed in Minecraft. There we go. I hate placing stairs up against walls like that. But it's there. Um, in that corner on the left wall, you want to place a little one by painting. I actually got the right one. It's the little green dude drinking out of a red mug. Not right, but what it is. Then count forward two from that and up one, and you want to place another one by that is going to be the giraffe. And then in front of that, another one by that's going to be the uh, black and white sky looking one. It's not that one. It's that one. The monotone one. Monochrome? Monotone? Something like that. Mono from Little Nightmares 2. Um, from the birch door here at the back, you want to count left three, because we can, and place another camel one by painting, and then up diagonally to the right, you'll place the monochrome one. We'll get it, I swear. There it is. I'm always so close to pressing the trigger when I'm, like, failing a lot. Um, just like, kind of just like stare at those paintings for a sec, admire the artwork, and then just turn a full 90 degree. Not exactly. Okay, turn. So you're, you want to look at this wall. That's the point. You're to the right, right from my perspective, left if you're looking at the back, but you shouldn't be looking at the back. You should be looking at the front. You get the point. You're looking in this area. <laughs> like, God, this is probably infuriating for somebody. I'm sorry. It's just kind of funny. You want to count to the second row of cyan concrete, which is the, the one that's not the corner. The first that's not a corner. And you want to be on the top cyan concrete block that you can place a painting on, and you're going to want to place a little, the, like, green, blue, and yellow one that's not this one. It's the one that looks like a seat, and there's no C in it. It just looks like a skyline with some weird face. I don't really know. That one. Looks like an eyeball. And then down diagonally to the left, from my perspective, it's going to be the uh, green little guy drinking from the mug. So I'm going to hit the painting limit eventually in this world. 
<laughs> gonna definitely hit it in a world. It's gonna happen at some point. Do they still even have the painting limit, actually? It's an interesting question. Anyway, back at the back wall, you want to, from this right corner here, you want to count left one. So you're gonna be two blocks away from the top of that door over there. You can see it at the left of my screen. Uh, but you want to place another one by, and it's going to be that weird eye dragon looking thing. That's the green, the yellow, the blue, the white. Is there any other colors? I don't know. Black. More yellow. Like, white terracotta. I don't even know what this thing is. Kind of cool looking, though. Airplane. Or bird. It looks like a bird. Like, see, that's the eye, right? That's the head of the bird. That's just background stuff. It's a bird. Case closed. Anything else in this hallway? Nope. We're gonna not do the uh, dining room yet because I like procrastinating things. Anyway, this doorway at the back of this hallway here, it's gonna be a birch door with the handle facing back. I want to do this from the inside of the room, so it's gonna be there. And then you can also... No, don't clear your inventory yet. Although, you can get rid of your dark oak fence, but I'm gonna keep it because... I don't know, I just like it. It's my friend. Um, anyway... Up against that door, place a mangrove door. Right... Frick. Right back in front of that, place more mangrove doors, so you kind of surround it, and then place a mangrove slab on top of that kind of door that covers the birch door. So you can hypothetically just do this and get into these rooms. Like, that's been really useful for me to be able to, like, just navigate better. To be able to do that. Also, I don't want to forget about this room. Also, this door isn't actually blocked off, it's just locked. <laughs> I don't know why. Like, if you're gonna at least make it, like, if you're gonna have it inaccessible, at least make it inaccessible in style, you know what I'm saying? Um, and make sure we don't need any more paintings so I can forever banish them to the Shadow Realm. Okay, cool. I like banishing things to the Shadow Realm, so we can just clear inventory. And get out Smooth Quartz blocks again. Polish black stone buttons. Yeah, not oak, exactly. Skeleton skulls, or one skeleton skull. And we're going to also start getting the materials for the kitchen, which is those are going to be... Birch doors, hooray, they're back. Uh, at least we're done with them after this. Light blue terracotta. Brown carpet. Lever. Cyan concrete, I think we're gonna hit our limit in a second here, we will. And I'll just say a dark oak trapdoor. Stay in this back hallway though, because what you want to do here is you want to count to the... Actually, from the front of this hallway, kind of, this block right here, this oak plank, you want to count to the third one back, so just count back too, and place two smooth quartz blocks moving back. You'll know it's right, because you can still squiggle through here. Squ squiggle, is that even? Whatever, that's the right word, and cry about it. Place polished blackstone buttons on the left of that, and then at the front one, you want to place a skeleton skull, kind of facing diagonally backward. Not quite towards the closet, but almost towards the closet, like that. He sees everything. Uh, come into the uh, dining room slash kitchen, because they're at one, unlike Alpha 1 for some reason, which I forgot that was how that worked, but it's fine. Um... At the left side of the doorway at the back, you want to come to the, look at the ceiling, and you want to count to the fourth smooth quartz slab. Four, that's this one. Break it. Just get it out. Nobody likes it. That was a little harsh, but you know what I mean. Um, in the back right-hand corner and over this birch door, you want to play, whoopsie, you want to place two smooth quartz blocks with a birch door on the left face, except the handle wants to be facing backward. Now, you might have to break the wall for this. No, you actually don't. You just block, I guess... No, yeah, you can just block it off. Or you could break a block. Yeah, either one would work, I think. I'm not actually positive on that, although I'm pretty sure. You want to... Leave a four-block gap from that, so count to the fifth cyan concrete, and you want to place two light blue terracotta. Then you want to skip this corner, skip the one left of the corner, and then you want to place after that five light blue terracotta. Whoopsies. And then a cyan concrete. On top of the cyan concrete, place a dark oak trap door. And then, you want to, at that row of five, you want to, from my perspective, from the middle one, you want to count left one, and then place a lever there. It's not powered on or anything, it's just kind of there. And then on top of every other light blue terracotta, you want to place a brown carpet. And then at the little left two, you can bring the back brown carpet up with a light blue terracotta. 
clear inventory, like kind of sort of the last set, except not really. We have a whole nother room that I'm going to probably forget somehow. You want prismarine brick stairs. You want spruce stairs. You want mangrove stairs. Red carpet. Either string, structure voids, or barriers. It doesn't matter which one. You could even use some other weird thing. I don't know. I'm going to pick structure voids. I like structure voids best. Now, what you want to do is you want to come to the cyan concrete, that one being the oven. That's this one right here. And you want to count from my perspective. You want to count towards me by two and then right one and place a spruce stair. Bring it back where, or I guess, yeah, towards the actual back of the builder, towards me with a structure void or string. I'm just going to call it a structure void. Then go left with, from my perspective by one, forward two, right three, back two, and then left one. In the middle of this here, you want to place two mangrove stairs that face towards each other, or no, away from each other, sorry, and they're facing left and right like that. So it'll kind of give you a little bit of a, I don't know, almost steeple type thing. You want to place red carpet on top of that whole little 4 by 3 thing. And then at the back half, at the back right and back left hand corners, this actually being based from the front, you want to place spruce stair behind. Like so. I'm gonna throw that structure board in my inventory and clear the rest of my inventory. Come into this back left room here with a clear inventory because I don't actually know and I need to uh, go back there and confirm. That's... Not exactly what I was looking for. Hold on. And you need... Smooth course blocks. We're gonna struggle, aren't we? Light gray banners. A single torch. Polished black stone button. Green wool and light gray wool. Not carpet. Wool. Um, a single birch trap door. Yeah, we're going to run out of inventory space, which is fine. Just a little bit like a bruh moment. Mangrove stairs, and we shall go with the old spruce trap doors. Along the floor, we'll start with the easiest thing. In the direct center, there is isn't a direct center. It's three off each side. Place a torch. Now... Not at the row directly above the windows. One row above that, you want to trim the outside of the room in smooth quartz block. You do not want to fill in the middle. You just want to trim the outside. Like so. Each corner, you can place another smooth quartz block, and then you should know where I'm going from here. Place green wool in the little rows of three you have left, and then a light gray wool square will go in the middle of a three by three. Now, at the back middle, like gray wool, you want to place an upside down mangrove stair facing back. In front of that, place a stair facing forward. Place a spruce trap door underneath each of those stairs. And then bring them out on each side by one. You're going to have to do some really annoying placements for this. Whoopsies. That's kind of fine. Just, you know. Hey, if you want to build it, it's your fault, not mine. <laughs> I'm joking. Partially. There you go. In the front right-hand corner up here, you just want to place along the left wall, place a birch trap door, and you want to open it up against the wall. We also have the bathroom. I'm not going to forget that, hopefully. Well, if I do, I'd notice at some point and be like, all right, let me just quickly record that, hopefully. Uh, along the back window here, place a light gray banner at the left and the right. You should have expected that. Um, anything else we can do? Well, there's one other thing we can do, and it's the smooth cords. Um, at the third smooth quartz block back at the right wall, you want to place this one right here. Yes. You want to place smooth quartz block, bring it back one and the, or forward one technically, and then place polished black stone buttons at the right face of that. I just screwed up my directions a little bit. I'm sorry. As far as like left, right directions, not instruction directions. That's what it should do. Clear inventory and get out. Acacia stairs. Acacia signs. This time, you either need actual structure voids or actual barriers. It cannot be string. I'll get structure voids again, because I like structure voids. Mangrove doors. Mangrove slabs. I think that's it. Yes. And what you want to do is... In the back, in the back left-hand corner of this room, this, this block, this is left of the window, you can see where I am. 
you want to count forward one, up one, place a structure board or a barrier, and then place a mangrove door on the back half of that. Going back from the structure board itself, place an up snow mangrove slab, and you want to uh, place a mangrove door on top of the slab, like so. So, yeah, there is an upside down closet here, and yes, it actually is upside down here in my game thing. I don't know. Come back to the front of the room, and right from the door, from my perspective, in the middle of this little row of three, place an upside down acacia stair at the top, acacia sign left and right. Like so. Let's do the bathroom. Clear inventory, and let me get over there, and let me get the proper things up. Ah, I need a birch door there, that's a thing. Hold on, let me get everything set up really quickly. You need, there's not actually a lot you need here, you need smooth court stairs. You need oak trap doors, you need night vision apparently, because I do. Uh, you need stone brick walls. Actually, yeah, see, I can't live without it, I just, you know, I want to make it brighter for the perspective of the audience, that being you people. Acacia planks, cyan carpet, uh, I guess get out that birch door, and we'll actually leave it off there, because at, and you just want to place a birch door in that right door there, it's gonna, the handle will be facing back, yeah. Now, along the right wall, that being this one, you want to, at the third iron block back, place an acacia plank with a cyan carpet on top. You want to, from that acacia plank, count left of the third iron block, and then count back one and place a smooth court stair facing left. Bring it back with one facing left. Then go left with one facing forward, left with one facing right, forward with one facing right, and then right with one facing back. That was a struggle, for no reason at all. From the back right stair, go up with two stone brick walls and right by one. In front of that, uh, two tall stone brick walls, you want to break the smooth quartz slab at the ceiling. And then you want to leave a four block gap from this left wall, so count to the fifth iron block. First, second, third, fourth, fifth. There's an opposite on smooth quartz stairs and oak trap door on top. <coughs> I'm dying. It's like that. Uh, come into the room to your left, which is the furnace room, and what you want to do is some funny things. You want to clear inventory. Get out beehives, spruce stairs, I hate this room by the way, uh, bone blocks, just because it looks like a nightmare to build, although I'm sure it'll take me like 10 seconds. Where are bone blocks? There they are. Sandstone walls, black concrete, dark oak trap doors, mangrove trap tor doors, Polished black stone walls, and that's all. Come to the front of the room, and at the front right-hand corner, you want to place nothing. Then you want to count back one and place two beehives. From that front beehive, you want to go left with a spruce stair facing right, and then another beehive. Behind the spruce stair, place two bone blocks moving up that are facing up and down. Sandstone wall on top, go left with a sandstone wall, so it'll be like that. From that beehive along the left wall, you want to bring it back with three black concretes. Bring the middle black concrete up with a dark oak trap door that will open up against the left wall, and you want to actually do that. Place a black concrete on top of the dark oak trap door. Bring the other black concretes up by two. The middle of the right row, that's this block right here, if that made no sense, you can see the one I'm highlighting. It's right at the dark oak trap door from my perspective. Mangrove trap door, open it up against that. On top of the middle black concrete, you want to break the smooth court slab and replace it with a polished black stone wall. There is no light in this room. Now, you want to clear inventory and get out two things. Smooth court slabs or smooth court blocks and lanterns. You want to basically come up above the ceiling and where you have a hole, you want to place... If you have like a wall or something in there, then just place a smooth court slab. I think you actually only have that once, yeah. You want to leave the staircase as is, but every other gap you want to place a smooth quartz slab above, like that. And then it will just kind of fill that in. And then I'm going to do this in kind of a weird way, once I do these first three this way, because I don't like doing it this way. 
so what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to, as I go, so like you see, I'm going to go like that and then break down, place the lantern. Now, just instead of having to go back through and place them all, because there's some weird things going on in this build. Like, you know how it is. There, there's some questionable decisions as far as uh, blocked off doors and stuff. Not that it's a bad move on their part. I mean, you know, I'm not saying that it was stupid the way that they made the house. Just for, you know, maneuvering. It's not necessarily the most fun thing to maneuver. But, uh, yeah. That's great. Didn't want to break that one, but I did, so. Not much I can do, is there? I'll do the two in the hallway at the same time. Save me a block to break. And replace. Where's the hole? That's the lantern. Not exactly what I was looking for, but you know. Um, yeah. Another long pre-alpha part, a classic. Um. But, um, yeah. Watch it tonight, ladies and gentlemen. That is the interior for your Hello Neighbor pre-alpha neighbor house. The second version complete. Um, thank you guys for guys did enjoy this video. I haven't even gone to this part of it. Um, the player house will be coming hopefully soon. I will get that out, and that will also be kind of a joint Alpha 1 tutorial. It'll make sense when it comes out. Have a fantastic day or night, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.